know, they should add like a legal voting cap on like when you can be president and also when you can vote. Like, I don't think a 99 year old man who believes black should still be slaves should have the right to vote. Or like a 81 year old man, <coughs> Biden, should be allowed to be a president. Bro can't walk down stairs. Honestly, I don't really care who's president, who votes. Do you not vote? Nope. Why not? You don't want to get like put on jury duty. Seems like a waste of my time. You want to? You don't want to get put on jury duty? Yeah, that seems like a waste of my time too. Why the hell am I solving other people's problems for them? Solve it. Solve it yourself. That's what they did by getting other people to solve it. Yeah, don't don't involve me. I'm good. <laughs> If I, if I got problems, figure it out. Yeah, I'll figure it out myself. I'll make it happen. I don't need to call, you know, like 20 other people, random dudes. Hey, can you guys solve this problem for me? No, I'll figure it out. I'll make it happen. When did the dick rocket get launched into space? I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Remember, like, that rocket that Jeff Bezos took, like that dick rocket? Yeah, I don't pay attention to a lot of things, bro. I don't no, pay attention to anything Jeff Bezos does. You know so much, yet so little at the same time. Yeah, because I hard focus on the things I care about. I don't care about Jeff like, Bezos. What do you care about? I don't what do you know care the about? guy. I don't know the guy. I don't care, do about, care about Elon Musk and news. And I don't care about none of that. What I don't do you know care him. About? Um, things that I feel like I could judge personally, I go hard in and I judge. Like what? Like if I know them personally, if I have some personal experience with it, then I'll judge it. Like, I don't know the Poppy, I don't know that Poppy or Mariah, Pierre or whatever personally, um, but I have some experience dealing with their team. So I'll, I'll feel free to judge it and I'll, I'll, I'll go in, I'll do my research. I'll learn everything I can about it. But that's because it involves me. And it, that, that feels like it's, it's a much better use of my time to do that sort of thing than it is to just uh, worry about what other people have going on that'll never affect me in my life. Like... If Johnny Depp won or lost, and I never heard about it, how would that affect me? No Caribbean movies? He's not going to be in it anyways. Wait, no, 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 they, no wait, like, wait, 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 but think about it, think about it. Let's say I never hear about it. It still doesn't affect me. Let's say that actually did make a difference, and he ended up in the Pirates of the Caribbean movie or not. Why would I even need to know about the trial? I would see the trailer. If he's in it, I'd watch it. If he's not in it, I wouldn't watch it. And... It's not like I have any influence over that, right? It's not like it's media, not like me. Media might have had some influence. No, no, but it's it's not like me knowing the information, like whether or not he won the trial or not. It's not like me knowing any of that information is going to have an effect on whether or not he's in the movies I want to watch. Whether or not he's in the movies I want to watch is going to play out the same no matter what. So I'll play it by ear based on the movies. I care about the movies, not the trial. So I know a lot about movies. I don't know that much about trials. I could talk to you about movies for hours. You know, I heard something really interesting recently. This dude, very, very wise person, said something really interesting. He was like, um, a great strategy for learning information about the rest of the world is forget going online and looking up all these articles and going on social media and doing all this stuff. If you want to know what's going on in the world, like politically, just ask a stranger, like ask somebody in person and see what they have to say about it. And you'll get a very condensed, very filtered version of uh... Wait, no, this, this is what I would do. I would ask my dad, because he's a Republican, and I would ask your dad, because he's a Democrat, see what would happen. No, my dad is only a Democrat in, um, in that he votes blue, but most of his beliefs are very conservative. Like what? Like, just generally the way he the way he behaves my dad is all about being he, he well he doesn't necessarily behave this way but he preaches the whole idea of being what a human being is meant to be he was like when i grew my hair out he was like finally this is the first time in your life your hair actually looks good you look like a real human being because you know hundreds of thousands of years ago this is what humans used to look like and he, he's 
all about that sort of thing. He's all about forget like the whole forget electric cars. He doesn't like electric cars. My dad's car gets like twelve miles to the gallon. He he. That's so cool. Yeah, you're you're. Generally, dads have a very um, strong point. Have a have a very conservative way of looking at things nowadays. But look, when I when I ask for information about the world from people, I don't do it to actually learn information about the world. I do it to learn about them. I do it to learn about the people I'm talking about. I do it because it's interesting and it's fun. I don't care about what's going on with the world. I could care less. It's none of my business. Um, and people might pretend to care, but really they don't care. Uh, like everyone's like, oh, Ukraine, Ukraine. Dog, that's been happening in Ukraine and in Georgia, the country, and in like two other countries since like 2016. Like there have been attacks, like when Ukraine first got attacked, there have been attacks like that that have happened in Ukraine like every week since 2016. The only difference is now Ukraine is on social media and now they're promoting it. And now they're going, look at us, look at we're helpless victims from Russia. That's the only difference. And now everyone's, I stand with Ukraine. What the hell are you doing standing with Ukraine? You weren't standing with them before. Cares. You do you do realize no one cares now, right? Yeah. Like as soon as the social media just has nothing better to do. Yeah, it's just it, people people are so deeply uh uh they're so it, it, it gives people a warped perception of reality because for every one tragedy you'll hear about in the world, like Ukraine or whatever, there's a million more you're not hearing about. And if your threshold is, oh, I care about people, I want to help people, then why aren't you standing with all these other people that are also suffering? You're only standing with what's popular. And so for me, I don't care about what people actually have to say about the world. I don't care about getting two different unique perspectives so I can get double the misinformation or whatever. I don't care about none of that. I just care about talking to people and learning from them and, and, and having conversation with them. And so I, whatever perspective they take, I'll just play devil's advocate with them. I'll, I'll troll them based on their political views. I'll base my political views on the exact opposite of what they pick their political views as and just have a conversation with them. Don't, don't be a little selfish. Don't go into politics to try to change the world and better the world. There's no chance in actually being able to make that happen. Um, there's too many people in the world for you to ever worry about that. You go into politics for fun and to better yourself. That, that, that's why, like, that, that seems like a brilliant strategy to me. Well, at least when he told that to me, because that's my goal with it. I don't really but care about... I like, kind of zoned out. What would you say? Like, everybody will have different goals with politics. But my goal, I don't care about the rest of the world. I just want to have fun. And so for me, when this dude said that, uh, what's it called? Uh, don't worry about getting your information from social media or the news or wherever. Just get your information from asking random strangers. That seemed like something that really, really resonated with me. That seemed that seemed like a great strategy to just have a bit of fun, you know? This is what I feel like you should do. Ask them what your party is. Say that you're the exact opposite yep. party. And ask them, can you convince me? Yeah. I've kind of gotten tired of arguing, though. No, you don't argue. You just listen. Like that's a really good point. Please continue. And then just say everything about it. And then go to someone at go to like New York. Ask them if they're Democrat. They are. And then go to like uh fucking Texas. Ask them Republican. They are Republicans. And ask them their point of view. I was I'm over exaggerating, but still like. Anyway, I'm trying to write a script for a video I'm trying to make. What kind of video? Just like a recap of the last three years. Wait, like a YouTube okay. video? You're trying to make a YouTube video? Yeah. Wait, so... A recap of the last three years. Like, how so? Like, just of your life, or...? No, no, just of what's been going on. Like a stupid, watered-down, over-exaggerated way. Oh, that's why you're doing all this research. Yeah. Damn, I have no clue what's been going on with the world. I can't help you with that one. But I can help you edit Ask it. Me, I, like, big, like the, what is it called? A uh, fucking ship going into the canal and things. Or like the, what is it called? You, you heard about the murder hornets, right? No. You haven't been on TikTok because you murder, oh, murder hornets. Hilarious. No, I haven't heard about that. 
Murder Hornets were so funny. It's a funny thing. They sound funny. Mm -hmm. The Murder Hornets sound like they got a good sense of humor. They sound fun to hang out with. Dang, this sucks. I'm like preparing all like these videos and photos that I want to show, but I have to like gather them together. I don't want to be so unorganized. Wait, this is what I'm literally doing for my script. Unless it's like something I really want to say, I'm just putting bullet points next to it. Like, uh, for one thing, it's like, uh, then 2021. Oh man, it seems like COVID's already over. I mean, a vaccine has already been made. Oh wait, shit, a new fucking variant of COVID called Delta variant has come. We're fucked, or something like that. Dude, Delta variant popped off. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Delta, bro, COVID, COVID is like super popular if you think about it. COVID has to be like one of the most popular like things in the world. Like everybody knows about it. Imagine capitalizing off of that. Imagine having like COVID.com or coronavirus.com or something like that. That would be another crazy. Thing, another thing I did is like we elected brain dead president <clears throat> by it who doesn't know how to fucking walk down the stairs. You have, have you seen the clip where he literally like fell down like five stairs? Nope. Or like fell up some stairs. Like he like he tripped on stairs. I mean, uh, to be honest, I've tripped on stairs before. But like, bro, who's the president? He's old as fuck. I don't like. I don't know what else we should. I should put. I forget. Like, I. You know any other like stupid Biden clips? Nope. You know, about a month after he got elected, I still didn't even know who became president. <laughs> like, I really don't pay attention to that sort of thing. All I know is Biden is president, and I know that because people keep saying it. That's all. Also, be careful. Oh, his ice cream thing. Oh. Oh, Be okay, careful so basically, like, a reporter asked him a question, and it was, like, chocolate, chocolate, chip. Well, I gotta send this to you. Be careful in your video to not sound too uh, preachy and to take stuff so seriously, you know? It'll come across as, like, it'll come across as, like, very passive-aggressive. Really, like, you'll have, like, a lot of... It'll seem like you have, like, a lot of pent-up anger over the situation, you know? And... People don't like the serious style of content I'm like that. I'm doing one clip of it, and that's it. Like, bushfires. Oh, man, bushfires. And I'm doing that for the rest of my video. George Floyd doing one thing. Like, George Floyd died. Cool. Next clip. Or something like that. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, because I haven't actually wrote the script. But, like... It's just supposed to be a stupid, dumb recap. Of last three years. If I was doing a stupid dumb recap of the last three years, I would put really obscure information that nobody knows about. I would start off. Fake fake I would start off. Yeah, yeah. I would start off saying with a sentence. I would start off saying something <laughs> that people would assume is about something like something that's very associated with George Floyd. I'd be like, as you all know, police brutality has been really tough this year. Or and 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 I would go into it, and then when they think I'm about to say it, I would just spin it off into. Oh, uh, because of that, Duck Dynasty's beards have grown one inch this year. Like, I would just go off and say something really obscure. <laughs> I would just not take any like, of it seriously. Know. And one of, our, one of our fallen soldiers, his name was Donald Trump. He could not finish the wall. I would, I would go into some, like, like, some, like, if you said fallen soldiers... I'd be like, oh, one of our fallen soldiers. And then I would show a video of like a leaf falling from a tree and then crushing it. And I'd be like, I crushed this leaf. The most eventful inform the most eventful event of 2022. It's a very crunchy leaf. It's one of the most crunchy leaves I've ever crunched. <laughs> I would just not take any of it seriously. I don't like to take videos seriously like that. Cause then it then you you put your personal self-worth into the videos if you take them too seriously. You put your own, um, you, you put you put your esteem into those videos. And if those videos don't do well, then it feels like you yourself as a person are not doing well. It, it, it pays to detach the art from the artist and to make it so that even if the video doesn't do well or does well, you aren't affected because you're a separate entity from the art, which a lot of artists forget to do. Um, but I think it pays to do that. I think it's a, it's it's. I don't think it's the most healthy thing to take your videos so seriously. But then again, there's a lot of people out there who 
sacrifice their own health for the greater good by making documentaries about some, I don't know, whatever. It's up to the person. I just wouldn't do it. Do like a stupid recap of 2020 and then do another recap of 2021. Because like, I'm not realizing the last three years have been a long ass time. Really? Last three years yeah. feels like a breeze to me, bro. Last three years feels like nothing. No, no, no. But like the amount of sh that's happened in 2020 alone, bushfires, World War Three, COVID, murder hornets, murder hornets, George Floyd, burning Americans flag, Black Lives Matter, Kobe and Black Panther died, Chadwick Boseman, and we elected a brain dead president. I don't know. I don't remember half the stuff that you're saying. You don't know that Kobe died. I know that Kobe died, but that doesn't seem like all that informa all that eventful information to me. Like everyone's gonna die. No, no, but like he like died. Like, it was just sad, you know. Yeah, but everyone. Like he died die. at a young age, so. Yeah, but as far as I'm concerned, if there's something that I know is absolutely gonna happen, then I don't I don't bother to be sad about it, and I don't bother to delay the sadness. I just go, oh, well, Kobe's going to die one day. That's sad. All right, let me move on. And then the day he dies is just nothing to me. I didn't know him personally, you know. See, I got a very warped way of thinking about things. Nobody does this. This is a, it's a, like, people, bro, everybody in our family, like, criticizes me. Like, whenever we go and we, like, go to Ishan's house or whatever, and we're, like, talking as a family and they ask me, oh, what about this and this? Everybody's like, dog, why are you like this, you know? It's a very warped, weird way of thinking. I've yeah. only found a couple people that, that do this sort of uh, strategy. You have a special way of thinking. Mm-hmm. Special. So that's, that's a nice way of saying <laughs> fucking donut. You know, if you think about it, Trump's got to be the most famous person to ever live. Nah. Who? Who, who is more famous than Trump? Putin. Who doesn't know about our family guy? Wait, wait, wait. Say that again? You cut out. Putin. Vladimir. Vladimir? Putin. Bro. Vladimir, Putin. Russia has a population of 100 million. No, I know they have a population of 100 million. But, like, every in America knows about them. Bro, America only accounts for 5% of the population in the world. No, but like everywhere in the world. Or like the Queen of England. Everyone you think, knows about the you think if you go to You think if you go to uh, uh, Uganda and you go to the slums there, you think they're going to know about Vladimir Putin or the Queen of England? You think they're going to know about Trump? Yeah. I think no, they're, they're not! Trump. What? Yeah, I think they what? would. What? Dude, news has spread. I've seen clips of people like the most uncontacted tribe type people and people reporters and stuff will go there and they'll tell them oh there's this guy donald trump he's so evil he's taking over the world he wants to get rid of you guys because you're black and all this stuff i've seen clips of that sort of thing and i'm like dog this is ridiculous like everybody you go to people who don't even speak english they know who trump is everybody knows who trump is every you, like you know there are people you know there are people in india who don't even know they're in india and they know who Trump is. Find one Indian who doesn't know who Trump is. But they're literally, India is so big that there are people there who you'll go to them and you'll be like, where do you live? And they'll be like, uh, I live like, you know, just down that way. They live in like small tribes with their village, with their families. And they live in groups of families and stuff like that. And they survive off very little. They don't even know what country they're in. The concept of a country makes no sense to them. But even they know about Donald Trump. Everybody in India knows about Donald Trump. I, I feel like sheer numbers-wise, just how many people know the name of the person. I feel like Donald Trump takes it for most well-known person to ever live. No. Who? I, I don't think Vladimir Putin nearly has the same level of we, global, global we recognition. Everyone knows about the Queen. Really? You go somewhere and say, oh, the Queen. Dude, I, I've talked to... My eight-year-old cousins, like, don't know about the Queen. My eight-year-old cousins have never heard of the Queen of England. They've never heard of her. Have they? Wait, Donald what? Trump? Have they heard of Donald Trump? Of course. They go to school. 
Oh, right. They go to school, bro. You can... Five-year-olds who go to school know about Donald Trump. Their teachers talk about it. Like, Donald Trump wants to build a wall, but we don't let him because we're Mexican. What? I didn't say anything. I'm kidding. Yeah, school pushes politics down people's throats nowadays. Bro, there's this one kid in our class that's just a Democrat just because. Like, I go to, like, a crazy rich school, and, like, everyone in the entire school is like, oh, yeah, Republican. Which and it's school? like, there's this one kid who has absolutely no idea what the difference is. And it's like, oh, yeah, I'm a Democrat. Because democracy. Yay, democracy. That's what Democrats are, right? I guess. Wait, wait, what school do you go to? Love it. Oh, yeah. 